thanks for dropping by. So hope you enjoyed that really simple solo over the chord changes to the White Stripe song, We Are Gonna Be Friends. So um, lately, I've been watching a lot of guitar videos, and there's a lot of really impressive guitarists out there. Um, one thing in particular I've seen a lot of is where you know, a number of guitars will solo over the same chord progression. And a lot of them are really good. And some guitarists do some amazing things. They'll play really fast and do some technical runs that are pretty impressive and they kind of blow my mind. And I think that's really cool and that's really great. But um, it got me thinking of what really makes a great guitar solo. And you'll hear from people, they'll say, oh, if it's something that you can sing, then it's a great guitar solo. Um, other people might think, well, if it's really fast and technical, maybe it's great. Um, but yeah, other people, again, are like, well, it needs to have space and breathe a little bit. And those are all probably valid things that make up a great guitar solo. Um, but when I'm improvising and just kind of playing along to something, I'm usually not doing any of those things. I'm usually just noodling around trying to find something that sounds good. So lately, I've been kind of trying to step, take a step back and simplify what I play. Um, put some more phrasing in, uh, let let the notes kind of, you know, I don't know, let the phrases breathe a little more. But instead of just, you know, whatever. Like if you just keep hearing that over and over and over. That's fine, but you know, and I'm okay at doing that, but it probably gets a little boring after a while. So how do I shape these solos into some kind of meaningful melody? Um, Andy Timmons had this really great video uh, that I watched recently where he was talking about using melodic motifs um, that are just like repeatable short phrases and kind of building off of that. So maybe you'll kind of have something really simple just like... Kind of similar at the beginning. So that wasn't fantastic, but at least it kind of goes somewhere or, you know, has some structure to it. So anyhow, uh, yeah, I've been playing with that. It's been kind of fun and it's given me a direction to go in. Um, I think the other thing too is when you have a place for your phrase to end, then you can really appreciate the guitar tone sometimes. Wow, that was so terrible. Um, like, I don't know. Maybe that's not the best example, but. if you're just kind of playing notes all the time. Whatever, terrible example, but, you know, maybe that gets lost. So anyway, that's that's kind of what I wanted to share with you today. Hopefully you got a little nugget out of that somehow, and it gives you something to play around with. Uh, yeah, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, real quick, I wanted to mention I uploaded a video of just these chords being played in a loop. So if you want to play along to them on your own, you can do that without all this talking and soloing getting in the way. All right, have fun.